Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to this section of Korean and experience. Uh, I'm the moderator Wei. I'm a professor from South China Normal University. Um, I'm not a specialist in Korean studies, but um, as a as a nation, I think uh, today it's very important to uh, keep a watchful eye on a Korean peninsula. So I'm very expect, uh, expecting to hear the talks given by the following scholars. First, uh, let's welcome uh, Xue Tsui and Kim Chi, the Hong Kong group, but dressed in a very Korean way <laughs> today. <laughs> okay, so um, Jay, uh, would you please first? Um, uh, my presentation title is uh, How to We Support a Korean Peace Movement. And uh, Kim Chi and I joined the Peace Walk in uh, May, and I would like to um, give you a brief report of what we have done. And uh, first of all, I will go, uh, give you um, mega pictures of why we uh, joined this peace movement. Because uh, we find from the, this picture, we find that where we can find the, where the world's uh, nuclear weapons are, you find that uh, in Asia, particularly in East Asia, we have the, the, uh, the largest number of nuclear weapons. And then that means actually we are in a, a great, great uh, dangers. And uh, whenever we talk about how we uh, delink um, um, uh, the uh, fight for the, uh, the nuclearization and also uh, fighting the um, militarization, at the same time we have to think about the US uh, dollar. Because uh, since the um, 1990s, uh, US dollar actually becomes the, uh, the biggest the, um, global resource currency. So when, uh, on the one time we have to against the US uh, military force, on the other hand, we actually have to think about how can we delink the US dollar hegemony. And um, you, you know that uh, for the past uh, at least uh, 20 years, uh, in uh, East Asia, uh, different countries also try uh, their efforts to build up the Asian currency, but uh, this uh, effort failed. And uh, how can we uh, start it again? And also we are uh, supporting this kind of uh, uh, fight for the financial sovereignty. I think it's also important when we talk about the uh, peace building. And so, uh, as uh, Chinese uh, feminist intellectuals and also activists, I think we should be alert to the colonial tactics, divide and rule. And how can we uh, fight for the uh, one career or unification, but at the same time we also have to open up discussion in what kind of unification we want. And um, in this uh, event, we also try to strengthen the uh, grassroots power and also to think about how can we have uh, achieved the integration of East Asia in different levels. And um, during uh, 23rd to 27th of May this year, Kim Chi and I participate in Women's Peace Symposium in Seoul and also joined the street protest and a Women's Peace Talk. And this uh, event organized by uh, two um, overseas uh, international uh, organizations is named Women Cross DMZ and also uh, Nobel Women's Initiative. And of course, uh, we can't forget the efforts from the local uh, Korean women's group. And uh, we have delegation from uh, not only from China, of course, and from Iraq, from UK, from Japan, from Colombia, and also uh, other countries. And uh, we, uh, three of us, uh, represent um, uh, Hong Kong and also uh, Shanghai of China. And um, I give you uh, one minute of video play about uh, Kim Chi uh, uh, speech. We salute the efforts of peace activists, especially those in South Korea, to the decades of war in the struggle for lasting peace and good governance, culminating in the candlelight revolution which has contributed to the current advances for peace on the Korean Peninsula. The Korean Armistice Agreement, signed in July 1953 by uh, USA, North Korea, and China, has not been followed up by a peace treaty. For 65 years since the agreement, the Korean Peninsula has remained a site of military tension and conflict. There are reportedly 15 United States 
military bases in South Korea alone, and many more in Japan and the Asia Pacific region. This is the primary factor of instability in the region. The deployment of card missile system beginning in March 2017 spurred the field the wars. We salute the efforts of peace activists, especially those in South Korea, for the tech current advances for peace on the Korean Peninsula. The Korean Armistice Agreement, signed in July 1953 by uh, USA, North Korea, and China, has not been followed up by a peace treaty. For 65 years since the agreement, the Korean Peninsula has remained a site of military tension and conflict. There are reportedly 15 United States military bases in South Korea alone, and many more in Japan and the Asia Pacific region. This is the primary factor of instability in the region. The deployment of card missile system beginning in March 2017 spurred. Yeah. Um, I will show you more um, uh, pictures. Yeah. And, um, and um, and then the, the next day when we arrived in Seoul, and then uh, we heard the news that the uh, Trump cancelled the uh, summit with the Kim Kim Jong Un, and uh, suddenly we um, changed the schedule, and then we made protests in front of the U.S. Uh, embassy in Seoul, and then this is a uh, student groups. They are uh, so so uh, they protest against the U.S. militaries and also uh, U.S. Of course. They um, want the U.S. to take out from the uh, uh, Korean uh, Peninsula. And then you find that all police yeah, protect the uh, U.S. Embassy. And uh, this is our group. And then we make a protest in uh, Guanghua Square, Guanghua Wen Square. And, um, and then police uh, did not allow us to cross the road. Yeah, so... Uh, we tried to uh, argue with them. Of course, uh, we failed. However, we changed our the uh, <laughs> we changed our side. That means uh, it makes the uh, pictures um, from um, it's quite interesting because uh, at the same uh, in the last minute uh, we against them. In the next uh, minute, they seem that they support our um, protest. But you see on our slogan, we all um, um, voice out, uh, open the new era of peace, a 70 year division long enough, no war, yes peace. This is our view and our um, goal. And of course, uh, apart from our group, there are also local groups and um, they protest in front of the US uh, embassy. And this is of course the uh, candlelight um, protest. That's all our women groups. And of course, we also um, pay attention to the issues of sexual violence in uh, during the military period. Particularly, we try to protect the statute of comfort women. It's, um, it's, it, it, was, uh, it is uh, located at the in front of a Japanese embassy. And then the uh, many young people make camps there because the uh, Japanese uh, embassy want um, to um, remove that uh, statue, but the local uh, young groups try to say no, and then they make camps, make camps, and to protect the um, um, the statue of comfort women. And uh, on uh, 26 of May, and we joined the uh, peace walk across, try to uh, uh, in the DM set, and also join the peace festival. And uh, we uh, walked uh, nearly the two kilometers, almost uh, 500, no, no, five kilometers, almost the uh, two hours. And I showed you the... Uh, uh,
Paul. Spots there where Paris have been cleaned out, and then there are uh, uh, what we call uh, this is the triangle to try to stop people from going across there. Mm -hmm. Also, as we go across and look into the fields, the uh, rice growing fields, you'll see cranes in the fields that are eating the the rice. Big, big cranes. Mm -hmm. So look out for all of the vegetation and not uh, vegetation, but the little animals, the little. Um, cranes and things like that. It looks like we're turning back around maybe to go someplace else to go. I think this is the yeah. part of the unification And this is the area to the reunification bridge, but somehow we're going back. But just keep an eye out. See over on the right? The, yeah. yeah, and uh, you, you saw that quite a lot of the women groups gather together. And uh, now, after that, we start to uh, the peace walk. Yeah, page uh, preparing for unification. But of course, uh, I think uh, the discussion about unification is not that open yet. Yeah. in Dora San Peace Park and then we uh, join the uh, Peace Festival. And uh, this is sculpture. It represents two Koreas, Koreas waiting for a uh, union crossing the bridge. And there are also the photo exhibition, the uh, what happens in the past. And then you know that uh, whenever war start, uh, war start um, the um, the poor people suffered a lot, particularly um, children and women. And then they, uh, in the final part of the feast festival, they uh, try to um, organize a kind of um, dance performance and join everybody, every uh, woman join together. And then we find that uh, how can we use the tra traditional um, dance? Uh, make it into a kind of the piece. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just in white because it symbolizes the uh, the piece, and also we carry different kinds of the uh, the scarf. It represent different uh, sectors of people and also different countries. And all women carry different kinds of uh, ribbons. It represent different kinds of colors. So it's a kind of uh, mass mobilization and also participation in uh, fighting for the peace. And then it turned into traditional uh, culture dancing and art performance for turn it into for peace. And uh, this is the picture uh, show, showing you that the uh, women's group and also the uh, um, uh, against nuclear groups, they uh, make protests in front of the White House. And then you find that the students, they all have to uh, remind us that uh, we can't forget history. And then we should remember the Korean War. And then we want to stop it and uh, call for peace treaty and also the um, fight for the peace, not only the East Asia, but also for the world. And um, this is a project proposed by uh, local Korean women. They uh, try to think about a possibility that the uh, work together with the North Korean women, try to remove the line mines in DMZ, and also uh, farming together, and, and also build the uh, peace area. So uh, this is their view, and also uh, we are trying to support them. And now uh, also, uh, we also discussed with uh, Kinchi, and then we are planning for the next, uh, the fifth social forum for sustainability, and uh, particularly the sixth, yeah, the sixth social forum for sustainability, uh, to uh, focus on the ecology and also the nuclearization. Okay, thank you very much. And Kinchi will uh, supplement my presentation. Thank you. And so we were um, very honored uh, to be invited by the um, two organizing groups uh, to participate in this um, Women Cross uh, DMC uh, Women Peace Walk. Actually, they started in um, 2015 when uh, 30 women, including some uh, Nobel Peace Prize uh, women laureates, uh, were uh, joined together and then they, uh, were, they worked with uh, women from both North Korea and South Korea to uh, try to uh, symbol symbolically uh, well, cross the, the, the barrier. And so what they did was, uh, of course, after a lot of negotiations and especially talking to the UN command, uh, which uh, super oversees uh, the DMC uh, area. They first flew to Beijing, then they flew to Pyongyang, and after staying there for some days, then they went to the border and then they crossed to over to the uh, South Korean side. And at that time, uh, what uh, welcomed them on the South Korean side uh, was both applause and denunciation. Uh, there were the women's groups from South Korea uh, well, being there to welcome them and then to join and work together. But then there were also the rightist groups that were there uh, denouncing them. And so you can imagine the kind of tension there was uh, back of just three years back. Uh, but then this time, uh, because of the this, uh, summit talks between uh, Kim and Moon and also uh, the scheduled talks between uh, 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 Kim and uh, Trump. So then the, uh, the, 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 the North Korean side was too busy <laughs> to be uh, entertaining the women on the peace walk. So uh, this time then uh, we didn't cross over to North Korea, but then we were there uh, on the um, closed, uh, closed, enclosed areas of the DMZ on the South Korean side. And um, just now um, uh, Jade was uh, Jade was showing you the picture of our protest at the um, U.S. Embassy. Uh, 
initially we were actually just uh, planning for the peace walk because uh, we were anticipating the uh, June 12th um, well, summit meeting between Kim and, and uh, Trump. But then uh, when we were uh, there, then we heard the news that uh, Trump, I think through the Twitter, huh? and then uh, cancelled the meeting. So what we did was uh, we had already scheduled meetings with the U.S. Embassy with, and with several embassies in Seoul. So that morning what happened was, uh, on the one hand, uh, Jade and I, we went to the, um, uh, South Korea, the Seoul, uh, to the National Assembly uh, to join the uh, press conference uh, denouncing Trump, uh, of course, uh, for, for this um, uh, uh, action. Uh, but at the same time, uh, then we, we had scheduled uh, meetings with the, uh, the, uh, the ambassador in the U.S. Embassy. So at 9 o'clock, then our group went inside the embassy to talk to them to say that how wrong this would be. And then after they came out, then we protested outside the embassy. And then later we wanted to cross the road to go over to the embassy to be closer. And the police were there to, um, to, to, to bar us from uh, going. So then just now, uh, Jade uh, showed you the picture. So instead of us and the police confronting, we suddenly had this tactic, we turned around. And so the picture will show the police supporting us with all the slogans. So then the police very quickly realized what was going on, and then they, start, they quickly retreated. But then we felt that we wouldn't um, just trick them like that, so we didn't actually cross the road. Uh, but then, uh, so, uh, and that day then uh, we discussed uh, what could be the, um, the, uh, uh, the, the reaction to the cancellation of the summit talks, because it would mean, uh, well, a regression. So then uh, we issued a statement, and in the statement we said, um, the train for peace has already departed, and, uh, and uh, it is a question up to the uh, people of uh, North and South Korea to discuss their own future. So if Trump wants to get off the train, let it be. Yeah? So get off the train, uh, be, uh, be uh, well, you just left behind, we still head on to peace. Yeah? And we also had a statement we called on, we said, uh, uh, President Moon and uh, Chairman Kim, pick up your phone, talk to each other. You have a hotline phone, you talk to each other. Then on the next day that we went on the peace walk, and, and that evening after the peace walk, when we returned to the hotel, we learned that Kim and Moon had met just very close to where we were. <laughs> And it's just well, some kilometers north of where we were. And then they were having this initiative to talk among themselves. And I think that really gave the pressure for Trump to resume the talks. And um, well, uh, for us, uh, we, uh, I think uh, well, this would be uh, uh, has, this will be quite a long road because there are ups and downs, and we can see that uh, things are very vulnerable uh, because with Trump, at one go he can say to cancel it, and at another he would be uh, saying that uh, shaking hands. And of course, uh, Trump has been really uh, um, uh, well, denounced by some U.S. Uh, press for saluting the generals from North Korea when they were meeting because I think I, I think some of you knew of, of, of what happened uh, because initially he wanted to shake hands and the, the general from North Korea saluted him and then he reacted by saluting and then uh, shaking hands and so the press in the US was really angry saying you never salute your enemy and your enemy's generals but then uh, we also saw that uh, right after the um, June 12th um, uh, summit talks, uh, the um, shares of the defense contractors took a dive. And so there was Raytheon, which was making uh, missiles. It went, uh, it plunged 2.8% uh, in the stock market. And then Lockheed Martin, which was uh, uh, well, building all these missile defense systems, uh, it plunged 1.3% uh, in the stock market. And yet, we know that um, uh, the, well, this doesn't really mean uh, the uh, demise of the uh, military industrial complex. Of course, they are there, and then they have their interests. So we have the, some Bloomberg um, 
well, uh, analysts saying that, well, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, if the weapons are used, they need to be replaced. And this is, uh, and this is the growth story, of course, we know for all the stocks of the military industrial complex. But then they say that even though one big potential growth story is North Korea, because with the North Korea there, then you can develop and expand all the um, uh, budget on military defense. But even without this uh, growth story in North Korea, uh, do not worry, because there are still enough tr trouble spots all around the world that require defense spending. So today we have been talking about Syria, we have been talking about different places, so, but then, of course, for uh, many of us, um, this is um, uh, quite a historic mo moment because uh, it has been a moment that um, the, the people of, and the families in North and South Korea have been waiting for. And uh, so we are also stressing that um, this shaking of hands by the leaders, uh, then, it is, uh, then they put them in the uh, limelight. Uh, but and yet, uh, well, it has been decades and, uh, of struggles and efforts by the movements uh, in uh, in Korea and around the world that have brought to this uh, brought us to this stage. And uh, well, for example, CJ and Jungkook and many of our friends, they have been in the uh, civic movement, in the, in the democracy movement, and uh, it, it is this uh, invisible maybe uh, movement that. Um, has been uh, the, uh, the the main reason uh, how of how uh, the peace process has been kept, and we also have uh, Toto, uh, who is one of our uh, postgraduate students. She's also from Korea, and uh, we've talked to her, and of course, uh, she represents or somehow for us also um, the, the 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 wish and the strength of the youth uh, working for peace in Korea. So, well. Thank you, and I hope that uh, we could be of some uh, uh, value uh, in some in the support for peace, because this is not just a question for the Korean Peninsula; it's the whole question for uh, uh, East Asia and also for the whole globe. Uh, thank you. But uh, I start with uh, President Trump's uh, comment in Singapore. So he used the same language with us about the uh, so no more war in Korean Peninsula. So I was impressed with this kind of uh, same language, at least, uh, were heard by someone who, who, who we didn't dream of he may made made use the same language. But uh, it was not easy journey. So I can see it's the 80s, uh, 80s uh, movement. We dare to our life coast to be like that. but. Uh, like it is more festival like and uh, uh, candlelight is also or, or like some for the young people could participate without a certain fear of their uh, the cost so that is the big changes for us so i want because it is a korean uh, korean experience sharing maybe uh, Maybe we have some commonalities and also particularities that cannot be shared in such a way. But for us, it is uh, many of our modernization process were externally imposed, whether it is colonialization, whether it is Cold War framework, whether it is post-Cold War or neoliberal order. We didn't make a plan from our own way. It was post, imposed and given. So our first response is deconstruction through resistance. That is because it, we, we didn't prepare for those kind of a new order. And then uh, uh, through this kind of resistance, uh, we find our some kind of for the time being or imperfect solution from our own way. So. Uh, Deconstruction and reconstruction is our whole modernization process. So, uh, as uh, you already know, uh, all, uh, all, the, uh, all our friends, uh, all the problems has been accumulated without solving some kind of a, a way out, exit. So, the, we still have a colonial remnant, and uh, still we are under the Cold War framework. 
and also neoliberal order. So all those kind of different different uh, social problems has been accumulated, and uh, it makes our alliance is, uh, segmented. So someone who did this, for, for someone who did, did, did this, but uh, it is very difficult to build certain alliances. The people's movement, the power's movement, and trade unionists, and uh, also someone who working for Korean peace and unification, and also someone who 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 want, who are against the free trade, uh, free trade and the free regulation. So those all uh, activism cannot be integrated. So I picked up the, when I uh, when I asked about the Korean experience sharing. I picked up the issue of a women's movement uh, to be shared because uh, it is the, uh, there is a very strong movement, the independence movement and the democratization movement, the farmers movement and trade union activism. But the women's movement sometimes can be part of it and sometimes can integrate it. So it is the one way to so women's movement is uh, integration of all social movement. So you can see the all the participants in crossing walking across the peace march. They can, some came from farmers movement. Some came from environment. Or some came from some uh, the anti base movement. Also, so the different the women uh, have participated in different different sectors of social movement. And then they integrated themselves under the framework of a women's movement. So it is a one way for us to to make a social movement to be made to be more integrative. So, so that's why I picked up the uh, starting point for understanding Korean experience from the women's point of view. So it is very multidimensional because uh, you can see the in front of a White House. So we, the, 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 it is a very global network uh, uh, easily uh, formulated. So uh, global feminism and uh, East Asian regional feminism and also local and national feminism are uh, combined together uh, crossing the sector also. And also uh, we have a challenge. This, the, the previous session has been discussed in tire, tirelessly about the role of a nation state. But uh, we, uh, the women's uh, movement in Korea, uh, not only in Korea, is uh, so from the Beijing uh, Women's Conference, one of the main target is the gender mainstreamization. Whether mainstream is good or not, but uh, challenging the mainstream uh, as a tool of us. So that was the one way. So uh, unlike other civil society organizations, like especially CJ's, the, the environment organization is one of the most confronted sector uh, against the state. But the, the many of the women's organization, we we push the women activists to be in government. So uh, in whatever means. So. In that sense, uh, our strategy is for mainstreamization and uh, be the part of a state power. So that is the in that sense. Uh, so you can see the our uh, long journey to be participatory, and uh, you we use every means affirmative action and the UN level of some kind of a, uh, institutionalization and. Uh, uh, so we use the, so there are a huge debate whether affirmative action is good for women or not, but there is a huge debate, but uh, we accept it. And, uh, and the women's organization, though they came from the different sectors, uh, from right and, uh, uh, right and left, and the uh, urban sector and the rural sector, they all agreed. They made a consensus on the mainstreamization and uh, made uh, some kind of a more uh, citizen-friendly law for uh, gender equity. So in that sense, uh, it is the process I will just show. It is a 90, 90s own journey. So it's so global, local, regional. Uh, and uh, so, so you can see the... So then, First, we are in a hurry to participate. 
So whatever it is to participate and go into and penetrate, yes. so occupy. <laughs> so uh, the, later on, we ask the, ourselves, participation for what? So what is the, so now still this question is ongoing process. At first, uh, we, we have uh, the against the patriarchy and the poverty issue, women's, uh, the, 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 some kind of the women's, uh, uh, and also violence issue and the, the, some kind of labor issue. And also, the, so we touched many issues in combination with the patriarchy. So how, how those kind of social problems make different uh, impact uh, on the, not only for women, for all society, how make it deformed impact on all, all level of society. And finally, we have challenged the peace agenda because uh, peace is in East Asia one of the very dominated by security people, let the uh, baby soldiers and uh, some of the multinationals. Uh, so, uh, so only religious group uh, in a more personal way, they can use the terminology of peace. So the peace agenda uh, means uh, some kind of in Korea, starting with the anti-base, U.S. base is the one of the very regulated part by the state power. So uh, in that sense, it is not easy to, to jump into, but the, uh, because of the accumulated discourse, uh, some kind of uh, on the, the women's uh, alternative vision of uh, alternative society, they did realize the, the, the some kind of military base and the, uh, the security, nation state security oriented framework cannot go with some part of a women's vision. So in the, that kind of awareness make more women to be part of a peace movement. So, uh, so I, so we have a challenge. So peace and security is very much gendered. So it is a very male dominant area. So they, they, so nobody there to challenge the national security issues. And also because of that, we start with a victim's point of view. So, so uh, the. It is a more safer strategy to to penetrate into the existing surveyed frameworks. So the and also many of so victims' point of view and the, it has been silenced for a long time under the name of virtue, under the name of tradition. So this kind of gender division of, 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 of security issues. So then it is the first impact is increased the armament. And uh, so democratic deregulation on military defense sector. So it is a, all, always, uh, it, it is the extraordinary sector. Uh, so the uh, good, good uh, excuse on the secrecy. And uh, so, and then the, the some kind of traditional value of addressing the victims' voices and uh, even victims denied, uh, negated the victims' existences. And, uh, and uh, then the, this kind of framework increased uh, sec not only sexual violence, but also all kinds of violences. So, sexual violence uh, is, is personalized so no, no international framework or nation state framework didn't touch it properly. So uh, then uh, one brave Korean woman who are the victims of World War II uh, broke her silence and shared her experience. In, it, it was encouraged by the women's solidarity and the feminist counter discourse because at first they feel shame to, to say to voice out, but uh, uh, with the accumulation of women's solidarity, they, they finally they thought that is not their own personal shame, but because of structural victimization. So uh, they stood up and uh, uh, 
uh, the, the reveal their uh, secrecy to the global audience. So it is the it is the, some kind of a tri trigger to make a UN framework to deal with the sexual violence uh, to be regulated in a global level. So it, it, it is a kind of institutionalization of sexual violence and the rape issue uh, in a global level. So then, so not only World War II, the Yugoslavian issue and the ethnic cleansing uh, were taken by global feminist discourse and the feminist uh, some kind of cooperative strategy. And uh, so finally, uh, leg issue was taken by Security Council and uh, also, so, so finally, Rome Statute uh, and ICCY uh, for rape as a crime against humanity. So then it, it, is, uh, it became really institutionalized. So, uh, so finally, in 2000, we, we, we are uh, going into 21st century with the uh, uh, UNSCR 1325. So that means the, the women's particip participation, equal right to decide on security issue from the women's point of view. And also all kind of uh, uh, and the sexual violence can be uh, anti, it, it's almost the same level of uh, uh, anti-humanitarian or it's a war crime. It, it is the same level of uh, war crime. So this kind of institutionalized station, it reinforce each other. So then the, the human right, the concept of human right, it was in the paper, but it became differentiated uh, through this kind of intervention. So it can it is a political part and peace and security and economic social sectors and the even uh, development cooperation sector uh, is uh, is uh, related because why why the human rights regime is already there and settled down in within the UN framework, but uh, it was not differentiated for the gender sensitivity. So in that sense, it, it, it is an ongoing process of using the mainstream uh, tool for our own purpose. So finally, the ICC uh, the defined the genocide and war crime, crime against the humanity and the aggression in the same level, and the crime against the humanity and aggression, uh, including uh, uh, rape, sexual slavery, enforced uh, prostitution, all kinds uh, uh, related with the women's specific crime are uh, included. So, so uh, uh, that it, it is the it is a kind of a long journey from from nineties to until so so UNSCI was thirteen twenty five. There is many further some kind of a, a resolution, so the make it more uh, make it more some kind of a, uh, um, realistic in, in 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 intervening state power and the regulating state power. So they they ask the certain the, 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 the um, certain amount of budget should be there and the annual monitoring report should be there. It is. Uh, it is a it is a further resolution was done by collective effort of a global feminism. So, and then uh, you, as you all know, the Millennium Development Goal uh, on eradicating poverty uh, was not was was proved to not be that effective. So they set up new. Uh, uh, framework uh, uh, sustainable development goals. So in it is from post uh, 2015 they said that was, uh, so our assessed forum were uh, taken by UN <laughs> finally 2015 and then the, all this kind of uh, the global activist uh, threat were crystallized as a, this, 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 this kind of a world. So the gender equity uh, 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 highlighted 
uh, in independent clause number five, of the SDG number five, and uh, uh, it is it can be gender equity issue is not only number five but also uh, but also with the other uh, uh, clause also together. So we can the, we can make this tool to 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 make a global society to build more uh, inclusive and uh, uh, be more sustainable. So. The, in that sense, so through this kind of combining the, uh, the SDG goal, so the the conceptualization of peace by uh, by the by women's uh, intervention became more broader and broader. So not only a sense of war, but also uh, it has been penetrated into other unjust area. So. Uh, but uh, uh, it is not easy. So finally, this kind of uh, process uh, process made a certain road even in Korean Peninsula uh, to to go for the peaceful journey. So it was not uh, imagined for us. So even several years ago I invited the Muto because uh, at that time when we talk about the peace treaty yeah uh, then it is a good reason to be uh, to be the violation of the national security law so instead of me Muto sang <laughs> presented the, the the necessity of a peace treaty in Korean Peninsula now Ginchi has given her uh, big hands and uh, they give uh, their big hands uh, for uh, for us to go. So in that sense, uh, uh, when we think about uh, alliance building, is quite abstract and uh, uh, dream is there and the dream sometimes uh, look impossible. But sometimes this kind of uh, accumulated alliances uh, in a certain uh, momentum, it can play the big role. Uh, much more, much bigger role than we have expected. So it, I cited, I always bear in mind the Wallerstein's uh, uh, world system analysis. So in, I don't know about the, the complexities, but the, one of his advice, whenever there is an opportunity for the peripheral state, whether it is a semi-peripheral state, if you get over the certain framework, if there is a, some conjunction, uh, make a certain small loop or big loop for you to jump into, then try to catch it with your whole, whole mind. So that is the, my uh, understanding in the, when struggling with the structural constraint and also the possibility of uh, agency and the engagement. Thank you. <laughs> Start from DMZ. DMZ is there. Uh, so, uh, I went to China in 1992 for the first time, uh, just before uh, the uh, diplomatic relations with the South Korea and China. And uh, I found, you know, very, very strange experience at that time. Uh, I found later that we Koreans uh, cut off from China continent for more than one decade, well, one, one, one century, you know. Uh, since 1894, Sino-Japanese uh, the world, the Korea is a become a part of an oceanic country. And uh, from then on, we got influence from Japan and America and uh, all the oceanic country cultures, you know, educations. So I found there is some big, you know, the empty places in my mind some, somewhere, you know, because we, do not, we are cut off from the China continent, you know. Uh, that is one reason why I uh, began to study uh, Chinese language, and I stayed uh, uh, one year uh, at uh, Peking University. 
uh, and the half year at the Renmin um, University learning Chinese, is only to you know recover the vacuum, the empty part of my <laughs> life. So I, I uh, read the Chinese letters, the Chinese you know, newspapers, Chinese uh, classes. I, I found I'm so much ignorant over China, you know. During the 100 years, what happened in China, I did not know very well. Hmm? No, but this is my personal experience. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, the picture is uh, in Korean. The, Korean Peninsula, the new economic map of Korean Peninsula, uh, which include uh, uh, economic cooperation between North and South Korea. Yeah. And uh, uh, actually, this is presented to, uh, to North Korea. So when the, uh, Moon Jae -in, President Moon Jae-in and Kim Jong-il uh, met, uh, April 27, you know, Moon Jae-in gave him a uh, USB, you know, small USB. Yeah. The, that includes uh, this photo and other, you know, the, uh, his plan for the national the, the uni unified economy uh, map. And uh, 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 and it was, uh, uh, you know, announced that in the April uh, 27 declaration, they, you know, it, they include uh, to connect uh, road and the trans uh, railways between north and south. Mm -hmm. And afterward, the working group composed of North Korea and South Korea is working on, you know, the examine the, what should be connected, what to be uh, modernized, you know. Uh, at the moment, they cannot do it. The, for the invest much, you know, because of sanction, is still working on. But they the study. If it is lifted, they will start to you know the uh, work to connect uh, the railway between Korea and uh, South and North, and modernize it. Modernize it. Uh, very good uh, transportation system. Uh, South Korea will export to North. And uh, 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 I think if it is connected, you know, there's a, the red line is uh, going to the Russia, and the blue line goes to uh, connected to the China. So uh, at the moment there is a railroad on the red line and the uh, blue line, and cut uh, at DMZ area. And, uh, it was once connected, it doesn't work. But the North Korean side, they have to modernize the, uh, the train, the railroad. Huh? And uh, if it came to be realized, uh, the Korea become, the, so far, Korea became, was a kind of the island. Huh? <laughs> no, no connection with the, the continent in terms of the economic uh, relations, economic ecology. You know. And uh, he, North Korea has, so far, has been the fortress, fortress country. Yeah. It's a for, fortress in the uh, armed, militarized uh, South. Yeah. They cannot go out. So, so if it is connected, South Korea become uh, recover as a continental country. Uh, kind uh, connected the continent, and North Korea uh, will uh, uh, have access to can make access to the ocean side. You know, uh, so they connect with the Japan and uh, some the Southeast Asian countries, and this is really a kind of normal, normal, uh, pros, normal you know, economic ecology of East Asia. Uh, we have been talking about the uh, East Asian uh, community so far, very much. Uh, we talked with the Chinese, we talked with Japanese. There are a couple of books on in Japan on the East Asian uh, community. You know. It's on, only on you know, the idea. If this is connected, 
I think uh, real East Asian community can be uh, drawn up, can be planned, and uh, uh, this does not, uh, this uh, transport system will, you know, uh, transport uh, commodities and the peoples and uh, you know, the traveling around, you know. So uh, recently, the Korean people uh, like to try uh, go to the Russia, the Trans-Russia, the Siberian train. You know. So they have to go to Urajibostok uh, and take there from there on the go to Siberia. So uh, after uh, four twenty-seven declarations, there is a you know word in Korean newspapers that the Korean people uh, begin to have a dream to take a train from Seoul to the Berlin and the London and the, <laughs> the one one ticket. Huh? So um, it, it, that may happen, yeah. but you know the imagination is very important huh? uh, because that there's a kind of the you know plan of, in mind of what what to do. So uh, the peace process in Korea is so much uh, important. It has implications in the East Asia, not only the Koreans, you know, not only Koreans, Chinese and the Japanese and the other countries, Russians too. Yeah. It's very favorable condition now because the Russian government is very strong interest to connect the, you know, the railway and load because they want to export, you know, the gas energies, you know, to Korea. China is also interested in, in, in it there. So uh, in, while this condition is really uh, uh, matured, hmm? uh, may produce a good result, hmm? uh, we may have to take uh, this opportunity uh, to safeguard the, the peace process, not only by Koreans, and Japanese and Chinese and Hong Kong people all, you know, should, you know, support and safeguard this peace process to make, you know, Asian the economic, ecology and the social and the so-called Asian community, East Asian community will, will not be just a dream. It can be a reality in the future. Uh, very short report. Thank you very much.